Welcome back. Well, you can't see it or smell it, but high radon levels may be putting you or your loved ones at risk. In fact, two in five Minnesota houses test high for radon, and it is the second leading cause of lung cancer. So what can we do to make sure it is not in our homes? And if it is, how do we get it out? Joining me now is Alex Vollmer, a radon expert with the Minneapolis Health Department. Thank you so much for joining us. This yeah. is kind of awareness month, so this is a very timely time to be thinking about this. That's right. Um, let's go back to the basics. What is radon? Because sure. I recall not really learning a whole lot about it until I switched from being a renter to a homeowner and yeah, go sure. through the inspection process. So what is radon? Yeah, so radon is a, uh, it's a gas. It's naturally occurring. It comes from the soil, so it's kind of all around us all the time. It's odorless, it's colorless, um, and it's hazardous to your health because it's radioactive. Yikes, which yeah. is not, and is it more common in certain houses versus others? If you have a basement versus not having a basement, that sort of thing? Sure, yeah. So in Minnesota, um, it's more common here uh, than other parts of the country just because of our bedrock. So because we have granite, shale, and limestone, uh, that produces radon uh, compounds. Uh, being in a basement definitely can be more hazardous because it's underground, and like I said, because it's coming from the soil, um, it's always just kind of uh, evaporating. And when it, when it gets into your house and it starts to uh, accumulate inside the house, that's where the hazard really comes from. In wintertime, when we lock up everything, I imagine that is That's even exa- more of a potential to really get an accurate measure of if there is radon in your house, but also increase the risk. Yep, definitely. That's another thing that Minnesota has going for it. It's these really cold days where everybody's kind of shut inside, the houses are closed down. So it just allows that gas to accumulate inside your house a little bit more. We talked a little bit about the the health risks. I mean, lung cancer is obviously the big one. Are there other health risks that this can pose? No, lung cancer is the big thing. That's a big one. Yep. What about, okay, so we need a test. How do we go about doing that? So fortunately, testing is really simple. Um, You can get these test kits right here. Um, They're really simple to use. They're actually made for homeowners to do on their own. Um, So you can get it from uh, uh, online retailers like Amazon or any uh, home building store, uh, local hardware stores. Uh, You can set them up, they're short term. Uh, These test kits actually come with uh, postage and analysis included in the price of the test kit. So what is that? Walk me through what I would do with that. I open up the package and then do what exactly? Yeah, so you open up the package. Uh, This is called a granular activated charcoal test kit. Uh, You open up the package, you hang it from uh, uh, the center of your room uh, in the lowest lived in level of your home. So if you spend time in the basement, if you have a bedroom in the basement, we would recommend going down there. If you spend time in your first floor, we would recommend testing there. You hang it from from like a telephone cord or um, uh, a cable and you let it sit there for just a couple of days. Uh, You fill out the information, seal it up, put in the mail and you'll have your results in just a couple of weeks. Oh, interesting. Is, Is that the best way to do it? or can you call in a professional and it, what are the pros and cons there? Yeah, so this is a short-term test kit uh, that goes for three to seven days. Uh, there's lots of professionals that do it. There's much, much more sis, uh, sophisticated mat- uh, testing equipment as well. Uh, you can do long-term tests. You can test in the winter. You can test in the summer. You can test after you've done uh, renovations to your house um, and they can give you uh, you know, a, a little bit more um, specific answers to your house. In some houses, you just said that you don't really track the numbers of how many houses do have a mitigation system, yeah. but... Uh, we happen to have one of those. Do you have to monitor that? How do, do I need to recheck with this every couple of years? What do you recommend in that? Department? Yeah, so if you don't have a mitigation system, the recommendations are to continue testing if there are any changes to the house. Also, there can just be changes in the bedrock underneath you, so it, it's recommended to just continue testing. If you have a mitigation system, it's connected to your electrical system, so there will be an alarm that goes off, and then there's other monitors that they put in place to let you know if it's working properly. Okay, I do have more questions, cool. but we're out of time, so uh, people can find out more answers on your website. Yes, go to MinneapolisMN.gov or MN.Radon.com for uh, ordering a test kit. Okay, very, very important test. Alex Walmer, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thanks, Leah.